Hey everyone, Bill here with KB Tricks. Hello. We're at home, what are we doing? We are in Vancouver and we are actually on Granville Island checking out Granville Public Market. So this is the Granville Public Market. Um, it's supposed to be a lot like the market uh, in Seattle, um, yes. the public market in Seattle. But uh, we've never been here before, so we're just gonna walk around and... And find some lunch, do some shopping, see what's here. So it's not just that building there, it's kind of the whole area here, almost like a small little neighborhood, different shops. Uh, one thing that people told us is kind of like the uh, public market area that's in Seattle, that's a lot more um, uh, famous of a market, but they got some live performers, shops, and uh, restaurants, all kinds of things. So we're just uh, gonna wander. This is interesting. I've never seen this before. This is called a pet parker. So you can put your dog in there while you go into a shop and uh, you use a QR code uh, to get the app to pay for it. I'm just gonna wander through the public market. I've got a lot of fruits and vegetables in here. I wonder how much of this is local. I'm pretty sure a lot of it has to be. Looks like some freshly caught uh, seafood, mussels, clams, crabs, fish. The smells in here are awesome. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, this is just so cool. Like the fruit behind us. I can't get over it. It's so neat. Yeah, it smells so strong and so pure, really. Yeah, and fresh. On one side, you got uh, like a butcher's thing, and then across from there, you, there's um, desserts and pastries, sandwich shops. Oh, we got all kinds of pies here. Went to this one place. This is a sockeye salmon chowder. 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 And it looks like a focaccia bread. It just sounded like it was a good thing to try. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just uh, go to a couple places and try some things here or there, right? Correct. All right, what do you think of the chowder? It's really good. Mm -hmm. Really creamy. You can really taste the salmon in it. Yeah. I enjoy it. I would, get, I would give it a 5 out of 5. It's like perfect for this day today. Yeah, me too. And so uh, this was eight fifty for the small bowl. Of this was a small bowl, yeah. and then it came with the bread was free with it. Did you see the name of the soup place? No, I did not. <laughs> the stock market. Oh, that's a good name. That's yeah. clever, isn't it? That's yeah. very honey. We're gonna go back inside to explore some more. These look great. These are fresh pastas. Next, we went to a place called Celine's Fish, and so we got a cod and chips. Well, that's fish and chips but cod this was uh about 18 dollars all right one test on this is how it's going to pull apart oh baby look at that oh that looks nice and juicy and, mm, crispy i could hear that crunch <laughs> oh yeah you hear that crunch mm. So before we completely destroy this, uh, what do you think of the fish and chips? Honey? This is fantastic. Like mm -hmm. the fish is so, it, like the batter is so crispy, but the fish inside are really nice and flaky. The batter is also thin and light. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So what would you do it? Oh, honestly, I'd probably still give it a five out of five. It's really good fish. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Yeah, the pier here where they have some seating, uh, you can see out onto the uh, cha channel. I guess it's a channel. I don't know what it is. And. Uh, Got some uh, water taxis or water buses, something like that. I don't know what they call them. Some sort of ferry. Aqua buses? Yeah. Well, I know one is uh, that one that's actually coming toward us is is uh, an aqua bus, but yeah, like a water ferry or whatever. Water taxi. Yeah. Whatever. Seriously, they got a lot of stuff in here uh, for sale too, not just foods. Uh, like all these vendors, maple syrup, flowers, jewelry. Got some beautiful flowers. Wow, smells great over here. Oh wow, look at these dark purple ones. Those are pretty. And this might be a kind of carnation. No, uh, these are called scoops. Scoop. Scoop. Here, I'll show you the word. I can't. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but I think that's what these. They're pretty. All oh, these fruits and vegetables just look so amazing. That's actually uh, coconut. Those are coconuts. This is dragon fruit, really looks cool. And that's what it looks like inside if you wanna just buy like a half of one or so you can see what they look like. These are actually grapes. I think they're called moon drop drapes. Moon drop grapes, if I read the sign right. You can look elongated, that's cool. That's interesting, they're called these charcuterie cups. It's just a cup full of meat. 
That's awesome. We went to a place called uh, Stewart's Quality Baked Goods inside the inside building, or I don't know what building you want to call it. Uh, what did he get? Hon? We got a Black Forest cake. Looks delicious. Yes, it does. We cut this in half and it looks amazing. There's like a cherry filling in there. Uh, guess which side's going to be Carrie's? Well, it's really only fair because uh, I only got an eighth of the fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> what do we think of that cake? Um, that was amazing. Uh, it was so good. It's really hard to find like a true black forest cake by us, and so when I can find it, I jump at the chance. This is definitely five out of five. It was light. It was creamy. A true black forest cake doesn't have like a lot of dense flavor to it, and that's how this was. I'm gonna say everyone's favorite word: moist. It was very moist. <laughs> <laughs> so we think we're done with the uh, public market, uh, the one building that we were just in for a while. That line there is actually for one of the uh, uh, bakeries, but uh, we're going to head and uh, check out some of these other places around here. How you doing, my bride? I'm doing well. Are you ready to keep uh, exploring? Yes, ready to explore. Well, there's actually like a lot of little buildings, but the first one we're in seemed to be like the biggest one we've seen so far. Just a wide variety of shops. Got some street performers. Looks like this guy's gonna do some uh, tricks. Oh look, it's a llama, honey. Yes, be careful, they spit. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's, he did. He did. <laughs> he did spit? Yeah, that's what he did, he spit at you. <laughs> oh, I don't think he hit me though. No. What's so, wrong? okay, so she can pet you as much as she wants, but I touch you and you spit at me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seems to be a lot of things you can do. You can do like uh, cruises or whale watching, all the things that you can sign up for around while you also can uh, do the shopping. So we don't normally uh, take the camera to little shops like this, but this soap and candle room smells amazing. It smells so good in here. And they've got so many cute things. I mean, look at these little bears. They look like they're little roses. That's awesome. This is also soy wax. Different uh, candle designs. They look like they were uh, folded or whatever. This one is interesting. You can pick your own live lobster and they will cook it for you on uh, other seafood. <laughs> oh, they got uh, Dungeness crabs in here too. And these guys do not have rubber bands on them, so they have signs to not put your hands in any of these tanks. You got different type of oysters and clams too, mussels. These are geoducks. And uh, they look interesting. The place is called Lobster Man. And uh, Carrie, actually, how many geoducks did you buy? I didn't buy any geoducks. This is kind of fun. They have an interactive pirate cruise. And uh, all these kids are dressed up. That's really fun. To be a kid again. I know. They, they didn't have this stuff when we were kids. Yeah, they had a lot. They have a lot of co co they cool, had, fun toys. They and had metal stuff. slides and things that could have given us brain damage and probably did, but they didn't have fun stuff like this. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have no brain damage. damage, damage. <laughs> Across the street there is a kids market. Looks like it's a toy shop and things. Let's go check out the. Let's go check out the toy market. Of course, they're playing music from. I can't even hear it. Oh, Toy Story. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, they got all kinds of toys and puzzles and everything in here. I know what every kid wants for a toy. Okay, what's that? Cleaning supplies. Look at that. Sure. <laughs> Some kids might. <laughs> uh, not only do they have a bunch of toys and stuff, they actually have like a play area and claw machines. They got like a. Seems like there's a bunch of different like individual shops inside here, or almost like a kids' clothing and toy mall. We're gonna head upstairs. It looks like there's more shops up here and a couple other interesting things. We got a virtual reality hub. We got a magic shop upstairs. Oh, and here's a place where you can get a haircut and you can put the kids in uh, vehicles. Like there's Thomas the Tank and Lightning McQueen, the shoe store. They got some sort of bumper cars. That is the cutest, smallest bumper car thing I've ever seen. It is. It's really fun with two train to maneuver it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's fun. This is that climbing thing that I pointed out downstairs. They got like some sort of virtual wall. And there's like an arcade up here. 
with like uh, those riding type games. It's like a Chuck E. Cheese on steroids. Pretty much, yeah. It looks like they got all kinds of ticketed games up here and claw machines, ski ball, things like that. Also a little uh, quick service counter to get a couple of things. Oh, interesting to see like art places like a blacksmith. It's a bookstore, more uh, artist things down this way. It looks, oh, it's the artisan district. That makes sense. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, hey. I was I was listening to you talk and I'm like, are you not seeing all the flags that say artisan district? <laughs> no, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Up next, we're at a place called the Saki Artist. And what did we get, hon? I got a Saki Sangria. That's this red one. And I got the... Did you, was it Saki 76? The Artisan 76. Oh, okay. Uh, so both of these are made with Saki. This is, as Gary said, it's a Sangria, but with Saki in it. So these were 13 each. All right, and what do we think of these, hon? They're really good. Yeah? Yeah, my sake is really sweet. I love all the strawberries muddled in there. Mm -hmm. And the, the sake is, uh, it's on a dry one. It's so I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about your sangria one. <laughs> yeah. And what do you think of the Artisan 75? It's 76. 75. 75? Well, I just read the thought. Okay, fine. Or 75. Okay. Yours is very refreshing. Yours is very crisp. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not as sweet as mine is, but it's a very good. Yeah, and what would you rank them both? I'm going to give everything a five today because everything's been so fantastic. <laughs> okay. It's really nice that the uh, sun came out to play today. Don't you think, huh? Yes, yes. After a... Uh... It, it, it's very weird because this was all in the same day, but after uh, our morning, <laughs> you wouldn't have thought it was a completely different day. Yes. We're back in the area next to a place called the Sandbar. This is supposed to be a historic area, so it's supposed to be like historic brick, so they had some signs saying, watch your steps. Uh, yeah, it's a cool sculpture called The Family by Jack Harmon. Hey, it's kind of backlit for the camera. I just keep following these signs because they say the shops of the Creek House. Like this whole area is the Creek House, I guess. Okay, there are a few more shops here along the uh, shoreline. Okay, that's where the uh, Aqua Bus launches from. Now that that low cloud cover has kind of gone up a little bit, get a little bit better view of uh, uh, the sky rises around us. So Kerry was quick to, quick to correct me. Apparently there are mountains nearby. Yes. But I haven't seen them yet because the, the cloud cover has been so well, low today. Well, we're also kind of more in the city right now. So blame the city. Okay, I gotcha. So this is the back side of the uh, public market uh, where we got the food before. And uh, we sat outside in some of these uh, areas. We're gonna try to get ourselves some uh, real dinner here. All right, went over to this place here, the uh, Tap and Barrel. Tap and Barrel Bridges. Bridges, and what did you think, hun? I thought it was good. We had, we split two entrees. Oh, well, actually, we started with some uh, fried pickles. Mm -hmm. How and those? I really enjoyed them. We're not usually big fans of pickle spears. Yeah. Uh, but I thought these were really good. Yeah. They were nice and crispy, but uh, not over, over breaded. Where would you rank them? I would give them actually a four and a half. Okay. Yeah. And then we split? We split the fried chicken mac and cheese. Okay, and what do we think of that? I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I thought that the cheese sauce was a very like it wasn't too heavy it was a baked mac and cheese uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the fried chicken was a little too breaded unfortunately there wasn't much fried chicken to it no, it was like two nuggets yeah but I would still give it I would actually still give it a four out four out of five the, the flavors yeah. were good they were yeah, there I'd give it a four too yeah and then we also split the we split a lobster roll because we that. have to get a lobster roll yeah. here yeah and that I enjoyed that the fries were really good they were nice and hot and crispy mm -hmm. the lobster roll uh, same thing good flavor uh, had lots of lobster to it um, I would give that one like a four and a half out of five okay. I think I'd give that a four um, I've had better I had worse you know? <laughs> but it was still good yeah I enjoyed it so we think we're going to uh, kind of make our way out of the uh, public market uh, maybe stop by if there anything that you want to go back and look at or anything no, I think I think I'm good okay so yeah. we'll go uh, Unless order. we want to go get more dessert yeah I'm, I'm, okay. I'm full now uh, so we'll get a right share here in a minute yep. And we're going to make our way out of the... Granville Island Public Market. And what do you think, hon? Oh my gosh, we had so much fun here. We've been here for several hours. I mean, just like exploring, uh, getting different eats, getting different drinks. Uh, we had both lunch and dinner here. Yeah. So yeah, we had a great time. Oh yeah, you can spend quite a bit of time yeah. here. And money. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and 
a couple shops might go back to on the way out, but uh, um, I think we've, we've covered enough uh, yeah. you know, foot, foot ground or whatever on this. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, please do us a favor to subscribe. About 90% of our viewers are not subscribers, so uh, help the channel grow. Help us reach our next goal of 2,000 subscribers. But do you have any details about this, Han? It's just Granville Island Public Market. Uh, they're open every day. I think it's a three, one of those uh, 365 days a year kind of a thing. That I'm not sure of, but I'm sure. Saying, but uh, they have all kinds of stuff here. But, yes. uh, anyway, we want to thank you for joining us. I'm Bill. I'm Carrie. If you're watching Game Tricks, please do us a favor, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Until then, good luck and have fun. See ya.